Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Hero. I am bringing you your weekly love reads. This is for the week of the 29th through September 4th. And like I stated in previous videos, um, whenever you watch the video is when it is meant for you to see. The dates that I put on there are more for me to make sure I'm getting content out on a regular basis. This video is going to contain readings for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquariuses, and Pisces. There will be timestamps below. There are two other videos this week. Um, heard me. The first one is Aries to Cancer and the second one is Leo to Scorpio. Um, if you're looking for your sun or your moon or your rising signs um, or sun signs, I guess. Um, so just so you know, there are three different videos this week instead of the 12 that I normally put out. I'm saying they're quick and dirty, but they're all running uh, 10 minutes, so about, about 10 minutes each, maybe a little bit more. Um, so these are general reads, guys. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, I'll tell you about my free free love reading contest in a second. Um, if you feel like it's not your read, check your sun or God bless. Why do I keep saying that? Um, check your moon or your rising signs. Um, if this is not on target for you, if you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are, there's a link in the description box below that'll give you that information for your birth chart. Um, there's also a link in the description box below for my personal webpage. If you're interested in a personal read, however, if you're interested in a personal read, you have a few days left. Um, through August 31st to get in uh, to the contest for a free love read drawing. Um, if you are interested in that, super simple. There's three things you need to do. Go to my YouTube page and subscribe. And then find the video that says free love reading contest August 2022. And like the video and comment on that video. If you do those three things, you'll be put into the drawing for the free love read. The winners will be announced on September 1st. Winner. Maybe winners. We'll see. Um, so we're going to get into your free love, your free love read. Yep. This is free because it's on YouTube. We're going to get into your love reads right now, guys. Um, so what's coming towards you in love? I have the love and romance journeys cards by Queen Sugar Tarot, the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages, love vibe cards from King of Aloha and the Moonology deck from, um, Yasmin Boland. So let's get into it. Thanks for watching, guys. So this message is for Sagittarius. So what's coming towards Sagittarius is in love. What's coming towards Sagittarius is in love. And then the other thing, um, guys, I normally do five cards for this. Um, but Aries started out strong and we had uh, like seven cards fly out. Why do I say we? I don't know. I'm just talking about myself. <laughs> um, when I was doing the Aries read, seven cards came out. So I've been pulling seven cards for everybody. Um, this evening. So that's why they're probably a little bit lengthier videos. Wow, guys. All right. Um, oh, Sagittarius, this is nice. So I feel like um, the bottom of the deck energy is a three of cups. So this is not only is this a true love. So so let me show you. We have the two of cups that, and the three of cups. So the two of cups is true love, soulmate, marriage, union, right? Um, the three of cups to me is all this energy plus a very solid friendship. So the bottom of the deck, this is someone that's not only going to be your lover, it's going to be your friend. It's going to be someone that you can um, confide in. It's going to be someone that takes care of you. This is not just love. It's love and it's friendship and it's romance and it's um, very soul connected relationship. It's soul connection. There's also the emperor and the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles to me is a soulmate energy. Um, someone that knows it takes hard work to stay committed. The emperor is your divine counterpart. And again, the three of cups is a soul connection energy. So I definitely see some really great stuff coming towards you in love guys, but I feel like, um, Sagittarius for whatever reason, you're healing from some kind of heartbreak or loss. Um, and sadness. I feel like you've been going through some pain or have had some pain in the past that you um, were really struggling with, potential trust issues, um, damage from a previous relationship, or an ending of a previous relationship. Um, I see the judgment card here. So this to me is like really evaluating yourself. If you look at the picture, she's like ascending. She's spiritually ascending. So this is like really looking at yourself, really being honest with yourself, what did you do that didn't help the situation? What did you do that did help the situation? What can you do to help yourself in the future? What can you do to make things better? How are you being accountable for what you're doing and what you're not doing in your relationships and in your life? That's what this card means to me is that self-reflection to try to figure things out um, to how to make things better. 
Um, I feel like this situation is one that I feel like you know this person if you're not already with them. Um, it's someone who has planted some seeds with you. So I feel like if it's not someone you're currently with, it's someone that you might have known previously. And some seeds were planted for this relationship. This person is willing to um, plant seeds and continue to watch these seeds grow to fruition and grow and build with you. They want to move full forward with you. They want to tend to this relationship. They want to grow and build on it. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. This is a true um, true love relationship. This Someone's cup is overflowing with love for you. Um, this is a new stable start. This is long term. This is commitment. This is loyalty. So this is a long term, stable start, committed, loyal, loving, true love my cup runneth over kind of energy. Um, this is a really great situation, guys. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is a blended family. So um, this could be someone that has kids coming together with someone else who has kids. It's like um, the Brady Bunch or like blended or just uh, blending of families. Uh, this is Ten of Pentacles is long term again, stability. This is financially stable, emotionally stable. This is uh, commitment, loyalty, marriage, house, children, dog, the whole kit caboodle. And once again, it's this Two of Cups energy. So true love, marriage, soulmate, union. So this is a super strong love, guys. I feel like you just are moving or have to get past um, the hurt and the pain and do that full self-evaluation. And maybe that's like a continual process. Um it should be a continual process. We should always be working to improve ourselves. But that's kind of what I feel like um, is going on with you guys. This is a really nice love for you for Sagittarius. Um, let's get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Sagittarius. Seduction. Spring. Shadow work. Hidden truth. Sacred connection. Yes, I do. I do feel like this is a sacred connection. I mean, the emperor came out on the bottom of the deck. But right now, I feel like you guys are going through some shadow work. I feel like you are addressing the truth. I feel like I don't think this is a secret someone else is keeping from you. I feel like this is your hidden truths. I feel like it's the lies we tell ourselves sometimes that keep locking ourselves. And, and now you're really doing this full self-evaluation where you're being completely honest and stripping down to your, your bare self and being super honest and your hidden truths are coming out and what you know that you're doing wrong and what you need to stop doing and start doing, which comes along with this shadow work. Um, I feel like this person is going to be extremely in love with you. So seduction is probably going to be something that comes quite naturally. This could be a connection that results in the spring. And again, sacred connection, which we had that emperor card. So I feel like these cards are pretty much reiterating the same kind of vibes, guys. We're going to get some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages for Sagittarius from the Hermit Tarot. See what pops up between Sagittarius and their person. Happiness is my priority. Um, that could be like a mantra you tell yourself, or that could be um, what your person is telling you. Like, look, happiness is my priority. This is what I want. And they're going to be kind of direct with you. Um, please give me time. I've never felt this way before. I, I know you from somewhere. So this could be someone that you knew in the past. You already know. You already know who this person is, I feel like. Um, you might already be with them. I'm obsessed with your body. So again, we have that seduction, that passion, that love. Um, but happiness is the priority, right? So we have a three, a six, nine, three, six, nine, and a 15, guys. Happiness is my priority. Please give me time. I've never felt this way before. I feel like that's your energy. Uh, I know you from somewhere. So I feel like you already know who this person is. Um, and I'm obsessed with your body. 15. I feel like that's going to be your person really kind of coming on strong with you in the in the realm of the physical world. All right. Let's get some love vibe cards from the King of Aloha. I need you to be dedicated to us. I kind of feel like that's going to be your person saying that to you like you you're you're getting in your own way. I need you to be dedicated to us. You can trust me with your heart. Yes, I think this person um knows that you've been heartbroken in the past. 
right? And they're going to be like, you can trust me with your heart. I need you to be dedicated to us. Happiness is my priority. So I feel like they're going to be kind of um, reiterating. And then this is going to be you. I'm so confused about this connection um, because it's not something you've ever felt before. It's not going to be. This person is not going to be like anybody you've ever been with before. This person is the real deal. This person is your emperor. This person is a caretaker. It's a provider, a protector. This person is someone who helps, someone who loves, someone who is stable, someone who is consistent, someone who is loyal, someone who is divinely guided to you, someone who is your soul partner. Don't screw it up, Sagittarius. <laughs> All right, the card that came out for you from the Moonology deck from Yasmin Bolin was, you're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. Um, I don't know when the Gibbous Moon is. I have no idea. Um, but I do know it is the full moon or the new moon in Virgo. That's why I chose that deck. So, um, yeah, you guys, you're very close to achieving your goal. So uh, don't mess it up. <laughs> Um, all right, Sagittarius, does that conclude your read? So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be putting these cards away as we move towards Capricorn. But uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this enough, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love for you to do that. That will certainly help my page um, grow and get more um, action or movement or whatever, interaction. So if you feel inclined to do so, please do. It is not mandatory. But thank you for watching. And if you want to get in on that free love reading contest um, and you didn't see that part of the video, it's in the beginning. So you can go ahead and listen to the beginning of this video. Um, but you can get into that free love reading contest too, guys. All right. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Moving right along. Moving right along, Capricorns. All right, Capricorns, this is your love read for August 29th through the 4th. As I stated previously, um, those timelines are more so for me to make sure I'm getting content out versus um, when they're applicable. Whenever you see this reading is when it's, a, it's for you. Wow, guys, we're doing what's coming towards you in love. Um, nice, 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 nice. Um, we're doing what's coming towards you in love. These are general reads, so keep that in mind. If you feel this is not your read, go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. Um, if you don't know what those are, there's a link in the description box below. There's also a link in the description box below for my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. But there's also a contest um, for a free love reading that is going to be drawn on September 1st in a few days. So you have time to get into that. Um, I tell you all the details in the beginning of this video. Capricorns, you have some great things coming towards you. You have rapid forward movement. Um, <clears throat> I potentially feel like you might have a choice here because we have the chariot and the lover's card both represented of making a choice on the chariot card. It's a black and white horse. Um, the lover's card is a choice in love. This is going to result in a higher level commitment. This is a soul connection. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a twin flame connection. Holy smokes. Twin flame. First one of the night. Higher level spiritual connection, divinely guided, hundred percent soul connection, twin flame. Could potentially be with a Leo, could be a Libra, could be a Gemini. Um, those are some, I say Leo highly because we have the five of wands, the eight of wands, the strength and the sun card. So um, those are all fire or Leo signs. Um, but let's get into your cards, guys. So I definitely feel like you are um, requiring some strength. I feel like you have some competition for your heart, for your attention, for your love. Um, I feel like you are needing to be courageous and strong and figure out who it is that you want. Um, I feel like you potentially could be going through a divorce, Capricorn, um, or this could just be getting some balance in your life because you have so many options or conflict or people fighting for your attention. So I feel like you're going to get some balance. It's going to take strength and courage to do so. You're going to have to let some people down. Um, you can let them down easily. Um, but I feel like once you get balanced, you have some amazing, amazing freaking stuff coming towards you. Again, the chariot, a higher level commitment, the twin flame card, 
for sure. For sure, twin flame energy. Um, stability, home, buying a home with someone. So um, after I feel like you get yourself kind of balanced out from this lots of possibilities, lots of people vying for your attention, and you find that courage and strength to utilize that, I do think you'll have some direct communication coming in, which will force you to make that choice, right, with this lover's card. Um, the lover's card is a choice in love with the chariot. I feel like these are like... The chariot is um, rapid forward movement. This is rapid communication. This is a choice. This is a choice. So these cards are kind of reiterating. So I feel like you're going to have to make a choice um, in a situation regarding love between two people. Um, two people. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, but between two people, I think you're going to get messages coming in quickly that's going to kind of prompt you to feel the need to make the choice. Um, I do see this as a soul connection. Like I said, I do see this as a union. I do see this as a marriage. I do see the choice you're going to make is going to make you the happiest you've ever been in your entire life. This is the sun card. This is the ten of cups. This is the happily ever after in love. This is true love. This is marriage. This is family. This is kids. This is soulmates. This is, um, this is like the... Um, the white picket fence. This is gumdrops and lollipops right here. This is everything that you'd want in a love situation. And the sun is happy, happiness, optimism, joy, positivity, potential children. Um, the, the sun card is the most positive deck in the tarot deck. So I feel like um, once your choice is made, Capricorn, you are going to be extremely happy and extremely um, joyful and extremely um, stable with this soul connection. This is a true love twin flame connection to me. Let's get a couple of love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. That one just said partner. Yep. Balance. Oh. Romance, true love, fall, release, seduction. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be passionate too. I mean, just this card is just like full of passion and seduction, right? Um, but guys, not only is it going to be seduction, it's going to be romance, it's going to be true love. This is someone you're going to be a partner with. And again, this is once you find balance and you release all this conflict or this competition. These are all reiterating themselves. I love it. I love it. This has been happening all night and I'm excited about it. And then I feel like this is going to really move forward in the fall. That is right around the corner. That is right around the corner. Ooh. And here's some more passion and seduction. Number eight, I imagine you naked. This is the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages from the Hermit Tarot. Let's see what else pops out for Capricorn in this person. Let me have you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, maybe they're going to apologize for being too forward. I think that some of those rapid forward communication might be text messages. I want to get you drunk. This person is definitely obsessed with you. I want to start a family with you. Ten. This is like the Ten of Cups. This is like the Devil card. I want to get you drunk. They want to enjoy their time with you. They want to loosen you up. I kind of lower your inhibitions. But it's not like... It's not like date rape kind of stuff. It's more like, let's just go out and have fun. Um, they imagine you naked and they want to have you guys. They definitely want to have you. But I think they might apologize for coming out a little bit strong because they might be trying to seduce you. And you might be like, back the F up. This is not happening like this. Um, and they might have to apologize. But they're, um, they're genuine. They genuinely um, have that passion for you. They genuinely feel that strong love for you. Um... It's genuinely a true connection. They're not just trying to hit it and quit it. All right. Let's get some love vibe cards from the King of Aloha deck. Um, I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of differences. Don't push me away. Come here. <laughs> I feel like Capricorn, you might actually be pushing them away. You might be like, I'm dating someone else right now. And that might be why you have to clear out some of that conflict and competition, right? That is so funny, guys. That is so funny to me. All right, let's get a Moonology card to finish off your read, Capricorn. I feel like yours went fast again. I don't know why yours goes fast. Everything was like reiterated, guys. You're going to have romance, true love. 
This is a soul connection. Everything will be balanced. It's going to be the sun, which is the most positive card in the deck. The Ten of Cups. I mean, good gravy tomatoes, guys. This is great. Um, all right. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, Sagittarius just got this one. You are very close to achieving your goal. Give us, give us moon. So if what you want is this uh, person, which I think it is, that's why you're here, right? Looking for love. I'm so weird. I was going to say looking for nub. Looking for nub. If you don't know what that is, it's Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live. But you guys might be too young to know what that is. Um, ooh, I'm married, but I still want to be with you. I was shuffling the cards and that flew out. but So that might pertain to somebody. Anyways, guys, um, I feel like it's all coming quickly. It's all coming um, very soon. So you are going to have this love that you want or the ability to pick this love because you have the choice card there, guys. The choice is yours. And I think you will pick your true happiness. I really, really, really do think that will be the case with the Sun card and the Ten of Cups being here. So that's a nice read, Capricorn. That's like super duper duper duper. Um, if you guys feel inclined to do so, please go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, you don't need to, but it would really help my page. If you feel inclined to do so, I would be so thankful. But like I said, no pressure. All right, now we're going to get these cards back into the deck and move on to Aquarius. I put the cards in like this because um, I don't want to just throw them on the top of the deck or the bottom of the deck and then they like all come out again in unison because they're not separated. So when they do come out again, I feel like it's a redundant, it's like just validating the message, right? Because they're all separated. You got to keep them separated. Aquariuses, Aquariuses. Hi guys, it's Brenda. Um, this is the read for August 29th through the 4th for Aquariuses. Um, again, like I stated in the beginning of the video, um, the date is not really relevant to you guys as much as it is, as it is for me to make sure I'm getting content out um, to you guys on a regular basis. Um, so whenever you see this video is when it's meant for you guys, right? All right. Um, doesn't matter the date. If you feel like this is not your read, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. There are three other, two other videos. Um, each of them have four signs on them, which I also stated in the beginning. And there is a free love reading contest, which I also stated in the beginning if you want to get into that. And um, some discussion about my personal webpage if you're looking for a personal read. Aquariuses. Hmm. Aquariuses. I think this is an amazing work read. Um, but we're here for love, guys. So... I'm going to have to say I don't see a lot of love this right around the corner. I see you focus much, much, much more on your work. But um, we're going to get into what the cards show in terms of love. So the bottom of the deck, guys, is the hangman. And underneath that is the Virgo. I feel like um, I feel like you guys are really healing. I feel like... I feel like you've been on a bumpy journey more so. I feel like... Um, this journey that you've been on has kind of forced you to remove yourself from situations, kind of pull back in solitude and do some healing, maybe some learning, maybe some research, maybe some growing, some educating, um, and really just kind of healing yourself. Could be working on self-help kind of energies or like learning yoga or meditation or mindfulness or something like that. But I feel like you're definitely pulling yourself away in solitude. And you are really starting to truly allow yourself to surrender to the pause, surrender to what is, and give in and give it to God. Like, just give it to God. Let it go and give it to God. Um, I think you are trusting in divine timing. You are trusting in everything um, in God's time and how it shall be instead of trying to force the issue or push the issue or um, make something truly happen. Like, I definitely have seen you being kind of indecisive, right? I think this is prior to this healing of the overall bottom of the energy deck. Um, I do see something has ended um, and caused some great sadness. So the Ten of Swords to me is like, um, could be a backstabbing and betrayal. I'm going to say a couple stories because I don't think everybody's necessarily been backstabbed. But um, I do feel like it's a situation that's very heavy on making a choice or somebody ended something. Um, so I feel like you are, um, forced 
you've been forced to make a choice. You've been forced to get yourself into balance. You've been forced to make yourself heal, right? I feel like some choices that um, you were trying to balance or juggle were just kind of taken away from you. So I feel like that um, has forced you to go into a healing mode and not be this juggling, imbalanced person. What I see it's doing to you instead, guys, is really some great things. And it's not easy to go through difficult times. But I feel like the most difficult times provide that adversity to us. And we, well, I feel like we get closer to God and lean on God and trust in God. But um, I also think then we figure out how strong we really are, um, how we don't need what we thought we needed, how we're able to kind of move on and move forward and find something better. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're showing up as this Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo too, perhaps in the future. Um, Cause I do see an ace of pentacles here. So I do see a new stable start coming, but I feel like this is this message for you guys is really much more of taking care of you. So I'm going to, um, I really feel like it, it's that because we have the strength card and then we have the nine of pentacles, which is a singular energy. This is you focused on your work, you focused on your finances, focusing on getting yourself stable emotionally, physically, mentally, um, and getting stronger. So stable, stronger, financially stable, emotionally stable, solid, solid, singular energy. Um, but I do see, I do see guys this coming too. So um, I feel like you will have a new start in in love um, with this Ace of Pentacles, or you could also be having like a new job or new financial stability. Um, but uh, I do see a, a new start in love coming. I see it being stable. I see it being committed. I see it being loyal and long term. This could potentially be with someone from the past guys because the seven of pentacles to me this isn't most people's like past energy but the seven of pentacles is a card where this person's already planted some seeds right things are already sprouting so i feel like um this could potentially be someone you know doesn't have to be someone you necessarily dated but someone from your past that there have been some kind of seeds planted this person is willing to grow with you this person is willing to tend to the the growth and the um, development between this relationship. And that's kind of reiterated here with the Three of Pentacles. This person is willing and wanting to be a teammate. They want to build with you. They want to be with you together to build and grow and with this new, stable, loyal, committed start. But I feel like, guys, you are really right now needing to focus on your healing, needing to focus on your strength, needing to focus on your finances and your emotional and physical stability. Um, so I feel like that is the true message. Something is coming, guys. Something is coming, but it's all the pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Um, so it's slow and steady. It's not here yet, um, but I think it is coming, and I think it'll be great for you because I feel like one of the things that you don't have is stability and consistency, and I feel like this new love coming will, will give you that that you haven't had. All right, we're going to get some love and romance journey cards for Aquariuses. Or you're getting a new job and you're focused on your finances <laughs> and you're um, building your future and growing with um, in your in your work or both. <laughs> All right, let's get some love and romance journey cards for Aquarius, guys. We have reconciliation, be gentle, new pathway, spring. And self-love. Yes, guys. So guarded is on the bottom of the deck. Um, I do think self-love is the most important thing that you need to be taking from this, this message this week, guys. Um, be gentle with yourself. I feel like don't, don't be upset with yourself. Don't try to force things. Really just grow, heal, work on your stability. I do see that reconciliation, guys. So this, like I said, could potentially be someone that's already planted some seeds. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you actually dated, but someone from your past. This is a new pathway. This is a new, that new Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to be happening in the spring, guys. Did I show you that one? I don't know. New pathway spring. So it might be a, a winter that you don't have a lot of love happening. Um, that doesn't necessarily have to be be the case you could still be like out dating people but like in terms of this little solid 
committed, loyal energy. Um, I don't see that happening until about the spring. Uh, I need time for me. I feel like this is your, you need time for you. This is like you telling yourself this message, guys. This is the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. I'm open to compromise. I feel like that's going to be your person coming in. I think they're going to be extremely balanced um, and say, hey, look, I want this to work. I'm, I'm open to compromise. I'm willing to work on this. I want this to grow. I want this to be what it needs to be for the both of us. And they're going to want you guys. They're going to want you. Love me. Uh, your family won't like me. I kind of feel like that's your your thought, your worry, but maybe not. I don't know. That might be um, pertinent to somebody. But we have a three, four, and an eight. Oh, two, three, four, and an eight. So if you're into numerology, those are some numbers. Yeah, but this person is definitely going to love you. They definitely have passion for you. There's concern, concerns about the family dynamics, but um, they're willing to compromise. And I see you saying, like, I just need time, but you got till spring. All right, guys, let's get um love vibes from King of Aloha. I'd like to kiss your sweet lips right now. I'm going to contact you soon. Let's just be friends platonic. I kind of feel like that's going to be your energy. Um, You're going to be like, I need some time. We can just be friends. And that's, maybe that's where that stability and loyal and commitment part come in. Um, it's going to be that slow and steady energy. So starting as friends might not be horrible, but I think you're full of it, Aquarius. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish off your read with a Moonology card from uh, Yasmin Boland for you. For Aquariuses, which card do they need to see? It is a new moon in Virgo, so um, that's why I chose to do the Moonology card. The energy is gaining momentum, the waxing moon. Yes, so this is gaining momentum, guys. Like I said, it's a slow process. It's a healing process. It's one where you're going to need strength and courage and to focus on yourself and to really get yourself healthy into a place where you're going to be willing to take on a relationship and not guard it. Oh, look at underneath that is strength and courage. That's the strength card coming out twice. So, um, so I feel like it's going to be a process. Hang in there. Self-love, 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 right? Be gentle with yourself. Make that progress, guys. It'll be worth it. It'll set you on your new pathway. Um, the energy is building up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you feel inclined to do so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. My dog needs to go out, so I'm going to pause this video and splice it together. You won't even know. The cards will be cleaned up and we'll be ready to do Pisces in just a moment, guys. And we're back, guys. Um, this is Pisces, Pisces Weekly Love Read for August 29th through September 4th. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Mm, that is usually a Leo for me. Um, we are doing um, What's Coming Towards You in Love. Um, Aries started off the read, guys, with um, seven cards popping out in the beginning of the uh, read. So I'm giving everybody seven cards instead of five, like the usual. Oh, apparently you guys are getting more than that because <laughs> some other cards just flew out. So um, we'll get into your love read, guys. This is general. This is a general love read. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read at all, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. There are three different videos this week. Um, Aries to Cancer, Leo to Scorpio, and Sagittarius to Pisces that are time stamped if you're looking for... Um, your your moon or your rising signs or other signs to look at. Um, sorry if you can hear my son a little bit upstairs, but um, <laughs> he's quite loud. Um, anyways, these are general reads, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can check your moon or your rising signs. If you watched the beginning of the video, um, I did mention how to get in on the free love reading contest, which will end August 31st at the end of the evening on August 31st. The winners will be drawn on September 1st. Um, and then my personal YouTube page or my personal web page if you're interested in a personal read. Sorry, kind of all over the place. Um, so Pisces, what is going on with you? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Cups. I feel like... Um, Guys, I feel like you were kind of all in your head overall. Um, 
really kind of self-defeating uh, energy. Lots of negative thinking, lots of worst case scenario. I feel like you are painting a picture in your head that is not extremely realistic. Um, I feel like you are waiting for your ships to come in, but you're kind of lost in this five of cups energy, eight of or nine of swords energy. So like you're, you're losing sleep, you're feeling sad, you're waiting potentially to travel, um, but you're very much stuck up in your head. Uh, a lot of uh, self-sabotage, self-defeat there. Um, big hugs to you guys, really big hugs to you. Um, but I do see the world card under those cards, guys, which is like a, an ending, right? A, a ending of a cycle. So I think that things are going to be working out in your benefit. But right now, I really see you kind of stuck up in your head and being your worst enemy. I feel like you are defeated and um, stressed out and full of anxiety over a situation. I think, guys, whatever this stress and anxiety is, something's going to be coming to kind of shake everything up with this tower card. To me, this is like an unexpected event, an unexpected shift. Um, I feel like something's going to come and blow this anxiety, this stress out of the water. So something's going to come um, that you're unaware of. I feel like some secrets are going to be revealed. Things are going to come to the surface. Something you don't know already is going to be told to you. It could be that someone has feelings for you. It could be, um, it could be lots of things. It could be someone's doing something they shouldn't be doing in terms of a situation. Uh, it could be lots of things. Some kind of secret's going to be exposed, which is going to create this tower moment that's going to kind of shake up the world as you know it. However, guys, I think it's going to get rid of this and this. I don't think it's going to be a negative shakeup. I think it's going to be a positive shakeup because we have, in terms of a love situation, the Ace of Pentacles. This is long-term this is stable. This is committed. This is loyal energy. This is grounded. Um, like I said, it's stability. It's a very stable relationship. Um, I do have pentacles and fire. Um, we have a couple other cards here too, but a lot of earth and fire. So it could be, but we have swords, we have water, we have everything, <laughs> but, um, heavy pentacles actually more than anything. So earth, um, but definitely a new stable start in a relationship. This person's committed. This person is loyal. We have the knight and the king of pentacles, guys. So I feel like this person is um, very cautious, slow and steady wins the race. So I feel like this person um, is not going to come towards you and like try to get you to move forward in a relationship quickly. They're patient. They're kind of slow moving themselves. But they are grounded, they are loyal, they are stable, they are going to just keep moving forward ever so slightly to get to from the Knight of Pentacles energy to this King of Pentacles energy. And the King of Pentacles is someone who wants to be a caretaker, a provider, someone who wants to financially provide for you, emotionally provide for you, provide that stability, provide that comfort, give you the things that you want. This King of Pentacles is an energy that really wants to be a caretaker and a provider um, financially, emotionally, in every which way. So this this person is really going to be stable and good for you. Um, this person is also not going to only be stable and good for you, but they're going to be fiery, passionate, flirty, sexy, fun. This is going to be an extremely passionate connection between the two of you. Um, one in which um, you are going to be like, I've never felt this way about someone. This connection is just amazing. There's so much fun together. It's like um, very easygoing. There's so much passion. There's so much chemistry this person is really someone I want to be with. And I feel like um, the relationship will move slowly and will progress slowly, but it's going to be victorious overall. So this is uh, the Six of Wands is victory. Um, love conquers all a victorious situation. But I do think it's coming after you find something out. So I don't know, guys, if um, this completion is like the completion and this looking forward is like the completion of a, a previous relationship that's caused you all this stress and that you're like waiting for your ships to come in. Um, I don't know what this ending is or what this completion is. Um, it could be the ending of a relationship. It could be the ending of a situation that's keeping you away from somebody. It could be finding out they have feelings for you. It could be anything coming to light with this moon card. I'm really not clarifying, um, but it's going to be something that kind of just shocks you, shocks your situation. Um, but the situation that you're coming into, guys, is amazing. It's a great love situation. 
So let's see, what do we have for Pisces with the Love and Romance Journey cards? Um, this is Queen Sugar Tarot. Wow, those did not want to go in. All right, guys. So I feel like um, we have winter on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like in the winter, this might be where some big changes are going to be happening. Wow. Um, yes. Okay, so guys, this to me, abandonment feels like some of these feelings that you've been feeling, right? Like abandonment, stress, worry. Um, and these cards have been kind of very much lining up with a tarot deck all night. So I'm really excited about this. But I feel like you are going to be releasing yourself from this abandonment, from this situation. I feel like this could potentially be um, a relationship that stresses you the F out. Doesn't have to be. But I think you're going to release this abandonment and you're going to find your freedom. I feel like you're going to come into your own and find your freedom and be released from this toxic energy. Perhaps a toxic partner a karmic partner um what do you have coming guys i feel like you will need to kind of do some healing on your inner child but you could have children you could be get, having children there's a reconciliation here and a wedding so i feel like guys this situation is going to result in a reconciliation and you're going to get married to somebody that you have um a past connection with i don't see it going super quickly though right I do see the winter happening. There's going to be romance and true love, and you need to be gentle. So I feel like it's going to be that slow and steady. So I think whatever is shocking you out of the situation you're in is going to provide you freedom and release from the situation. You will move forward into reconciliation with somebody and then potentially have a wedding. I don't see this as the same energy, but it could be. Like, I don't see you um, ending something with someone just to go back to the same person. I see this as a new ace of ace of pentacles. And yes, I think so. I think so, yes, we got. So I feel like that's right. It's going to be um, not the person you're walking away from. Or this, but we have ace of wands. We have an ace of wands here. Um, that's the, um, sorry guys for the interruption. But we have, um, we had, I think so, yes. So I feel like this is. Um, what I was saying that this person that if you're leaving a person behind, it's not the same person you're reconciling with, but I don't know for sure. Um, but it says, I think so. Yes. And then we had the ace of wands. This is the magic stick. This is, um, the magic stick. If you want to watch 50 cent or listen to 50 cent song with Lil' Kim, <laughs> lots and lots of passion, right? We have, I would do anything for you 10 on the bottom. Sorry, now you're going to hear my son and my dog being crazy upstairs. Um, and then we have, oh, oh, sorry. We have um, sometimes, I sometimes wonder if you care, 13 and wait, 7. So I feel like, um, I don't know, guys. I feel like I sometimes wonder if you care. This could potentially be um, someone from your past if you're reconciling with them that might be like uh, I sometimes wonder if you even care like I had no idea you were still thinking about me or talking or considering me maybe that's what this uh, tower moment is um but wait again as we have weight here I feel like things need to be balanced out you need to heal they need to be healed this is going to be a slow and steady commitment it's not going to be one that just rushes forward um but hmm, I sometimes wonder if you care. Wait, I would do anything for you. The Ace of Wands, well, that's that magic stick. And I think so, yes. So we have 1, 7, 10, and 13 for numbers if you are into numerology. Sorry, I feel like this read has been kind of chopped up because <laughs> all the interruptions. All right, so let's get some Love Vibe cards from the King of Aloha deck. I'm sorry if you hear all that rumbling. They're playing upstairs. My dog is playing with my son. I'm running all over. All right, so we have, I'm so confused about this connection. I can't give you what you want or need. 
Um, I'd like to kiss your sweet lips right now. So guys, what I'm kind of getting is I feel like you are walking away from a situation, I feel like, with a person. I feel like you're moving away from a situation with a person that's causing you a bunch of stress. I feel like you feel like I can't give them, you can't give that person what they want or what they need. I feel like that's something you might have actually said to somebody. Um, I feel as if you're moving towards a person that you have a past with that will be a reconciliation that will end up with in a wedding and with a child or with a children. Um, I feel like this might be confusing to you um, or them. They might not be expecting that. So maybe the um, unexpected tower moment is something that you decide and you figure out. Maybe you've been hiding your feeling for this person um, and you come to them and they're going to be like, I'm so confused about this connection. Or they're going to come to you and then you're going to say to them, I'm so confused. I, I didn't even know that you still thought about me. Like, I, I wonder sometimes if you even cared. Like, um, so I feel like this is like two different people's kind of energy, three different people's energy in the message cards. Um, I'd like to kiss your sweet lips right now. I feel like that's whoever wants to move this reconciliation forward is feeling that way. Clear as mud. <laughs> All right, so, um, we're going to get a Moonology card to finish off your read, Pisces. Um, it is a full, it is the new moon in Virgo right now. That's why I chose the deck for Moonology. Um, this deck is by Yasmin Boland, and we're going to see what pops out for Pisces. What message does Pisces need to see? I feel like discombobulated for your read. Sorry, guys. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Yeah. And guys, um... Pisces is like, like what, March, March, uh, winter time, right? So um, this is saying new moon in Pisces. So I feel like you will be meditating and contemplating. I don't know if you're going to be the one that drops this bomb and shares your hidden truths and your secrets or someone's going to come and do that for you. But I feel like everything's going to kind of take change and, and switch up in the winter. So um I don't know. Let me know if this resonates, guys. If you feel inclined to do so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you uh, don't, that's okay too, but it really will help my page. I appreciate you guys watching so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And until next time, guys, take care.